Hey y'all, welcome back to Permanent Truth. Welcome to today's video. If you're new to this channel, please click that subscribe button down below. Be sure to tap the notification bell beside it so that you're notified when I upload new videos. And as always, if you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and don't forget to share. So in today's video, we're going to be talking about the power grid, but it's going to be a little bit different than what we're usually talking about. If you have smart meters on your house, they can actually be used against you. Yes, you're hearing that right. Power company seizes control of thermostats in Colorado during the heat wave. Mm -hmm. Those smart meters are real smart. Around 22,000 households in Colorado lost the ability to control their thermostats after the power company seized control of them during a heat wave. After the temperature soared past 90 degrees, Residents were left confused when they tried to adjust their air conditioning and found locked controls displaying a passage that said, Energy Emergency. So these 22,000 customers, they said, signed up for Colorado AC Rewards Program. They were locked out of their smart thermostats for hours on Tuesday. They're stating, I mean, it was 90 degrees out and it was during the peak period and it was hot. So they have now started using your smart meters against allowing you to even adjust a thermostat in your own home. So if this can be done, what are they to do next? Just cut it all the way off and tell you you currently can't use your power at all because we're having an energy emergency. Little bit of control, I would have to say. If you are paying your power bill, you should be able to run your power anytime you get ready. As far as the rest of it, well, we need to figure out a different kind of solution if we're having that much problem with our systems. But I would have to say that it's just a little bit more of a power grab and control over what you can and can't do even in your own home than anything else. Um, they said it's normally able to override the energy emergency message, but not on this occasion. So their thermostat was locked in at 78 or 79 degrees. They're stating this was only for certain people that were enrolled in that program. But if they're doing it for this, that means that if they really got ready to and you're on a smart meter, like most all of us are because, you know, that's just how it happened and you didn't have no choice. When they changed all the systems over, they just come in and put them out or you didn't have power at all. Now they can literally shut down your thermostat in your house, control your power that way. So let's say they don't want you to use it anymore. They think you're already using enough, you know, you're draining the system. They might just shut your power off all the way and you not even have a light bulb. So it could be lights out. That's something to think about right there. So that's another reason to try to be as off grid as possible, even if it's just for small stuff, to keep your lights going and maybe some way to cook because, you know, when a company has enough power and control to just shut your system all the way off, that's just a little bit too much. That's where it's time to be as self-sufficient as you possibly can because that is not something you want to have to do is go in there to turn the lights on and the lights won't come on because they've turned them off, even though you paid your bill. So I'm going to leave a link to this uh, news article down below in the description box. You can go check it out on all the details and stuff like that. But completely losing control over the temperature of your own home is presumably one of the many benefits of the green energy great reset Americans will be forced to endure so we shall see how this plays out see what comes of this and what else might happen afterwards best thing to do is just be prepared for anything thanks for watching this video I will see you in the next one stay safe God bless you and keep prepping